welcome back students hope you all are waiting for a much awaiting important concepts and the questions for the course digital electronics de which is a common course for all branches under computer science engineering i mean computer science engineering as well as computer science engineering under ai ml data science and internet of things and so on it is all about the digital electronics under j to h for r22 regulation a kind and gentle attention and reminder to all the students is that this course is bit uh, difficult for the students who did not attend the class and showcased interest as you are a computer science engineering many students won't be showcasing interest in this subject where you are going to make put a backlog if you are not going to work out the concept wise you have come with the important questions in this video please do share this video to your friends and ask them to work out accordingly all the concepts concept wise and the unit wise questions i am going to let you know and please be prepared well and you are not supposed to skip any part of the video you are supposed to work out unit wise all the questions here to clear this course first and scoring the marks is also very important to increase your percentage and this course contains 3 credits as you all are aware that after uh, first year many students could not promote to the second year due to lack of credits if so repeats even in the second year if you want to promote to the third year you should have this minimum credits that video i am going to post in the coming days to go but dear students this course is too bit difficult for you people i can know that so that i am going to get and cover for you the important concepts i am going to let you know the sequence of to work out the short questions and the long questions you need to clear this course in the first attempt the first unit is all about the binary numbers and the binary codes and binary logic and the storage and registers you need to work out all these concepts failing which which over the question you are skipping that may occur in the paper and it may lead to less the marks as well as you may be failing in that course and the sign binary numbers too you need to prepare in this order to score a 12 mark in this unit i mean the unit 1 covers the question number 1 a and b as well as 2 ab or 3 ab hope you know the question paper pattern number based conversions related to hexadecimal versus octal numbers and the digital systems and the complements is also set with a short and long question this time which may occur in the question paper for complete 12 mark if you are going to work out you are going to get out of out mark later coming to the billion algebra maybe the third question here it was all about the definitions about that and the theorems and the functions properties as well as the any problems and the theorems need to be worked out very neatly it is said to be the top most question dear students canonical and standard form is set with a gun shot question this time which will occur in your question paper in form of 3a or 3b digital logic gates may be the short question and the logical operations may also be the short question sometimes or that may be the five mark question do not skip any part of these concepts failing which that may lead to less marks and the student who is looking to just pass i am going to let you know the few important units and how you are supposed to work out and do not skip my video if you haven't liked this please give a thumbs up to this video and share with your friends immediately and coming to the unit 2 it's all about the fourth and the fifth question dear students and you need to work out all the short questions there are no separate short questions here like nand and nor implementation and different nand and nor maybe the short question two level implementation on these two questions you will be getting one question for sure and don't care conditions related to some simplification such type of questions are will be asked and you are going to work out all this and coming to the fifth question gate level implementation and related to the gate level implementation they may be asking the map method or four variable map method or five variable map method dear students do not just read the map method it may occur in the question paper either four or five also sometimes so you need to be thorough with all the gate level implementations and the exclusive or functions is set with a short question this time this is all about the question number 4 and 5 dear students now let's look at the 6th and 7th before that as if you are getting a theory paper theory question like decoders and encoders you are supposed to write their differences in form of tabular column with two set of pens very neatly i have uploaded a video on how to write a theory paper to score a better mark 
taking into consideration some question paper i have written few answers in a manner that how you are supposed to get good marks please go and watch this video immediately after this design analysis procedure combinational circuits it's set with the top question do not expect direct 10 mark it is a combination of 5 and 5 hgl combination circuit the topmost question and binary multiplexer maybe the short question this time make sure that do not skip the short questions even a one mark is essential for you to score that subject i mean the clear that subject multiplexer set of the short and long question magnitude competitor maybe the short question binary adder versus subtractor maybe the long question this time and decimal adder also maybe the five mark question these are the very important concepts need to be worked out from the unit three for the question number six and seven do carry your calculator and pencil and draw the diagrams wherever necessary if you are failing to draw the diagrams neatly that also leads for the short a less marks registers and the types and the shift register may be the short question a ripple versus synchronous curtis may be the long question this time and the latches may be the short question and flip flops may be the long question this is all about the question number eight as well as nine from the unit four whichever the unit you are studying dear students study all the concepts do not study in bits and pieces from different units that won't pay you anything if you want to score 12 marks you need to be thorough with the complete unit students fail uh, studying uh, the complete unit and they go with some important questions bits and pieces of various units please do not do that and the one more important question and the gunshot question i can give you is design procedure of a sequential uh, logic or a circuit and analysis of clock sequential circuit is set to the gunshot question which will occur this time for sure in your question paper various types of counters maybe the short question this time and the unit four is too short in its structure but you need to work out the unit one to score out of out mark in the remaining units also as that is a basic subject for you all hope you are going to like my videos and if you're looking for any course please do comment dear students later the fifth unit is too lengthy in its structure and students who feel that they are average they can skip this unit asynchronous sequential logic analysis design as well as procedure need to be worked out very neatly with a pencil all the diagrams reduction of a state and flow tables and memory decoding and error detection and correction may be the short or long question this time which may occur in the question paper in the form of 10 and 11 ab combination sequential programmable devices may be the long question array program uh, programmable array logic is said to be the top most question random access versus read only memory may be the one of the important question memory decoding as well as circuit with latches is said to be the five mark question this time dear students race free state assignment hazardous as well as the design problems related to its example is said to be the one of the gun short question which may occur this time this is about the unit 5 dear students it's all about 10 and 11 and the short questions hope you are going to like my videos and working out all these concepts in a given time and you need to work out all these answers in your first as the first exam for r22 regulation hope you'll be having all my wishes on you and you'll be carrying all your stationery as well as your calculator to the end examination and do not forget to carry even your hall ticket dear students this is your chandrasekhar utukuri signing off thank you